we all experience being wronged by someone. Hello and welcome back to Coil Coaching's Thriving One podcast. It's so good to be with you guys again. We have a phenomenal topic as mm -hmm. usual uh, for you guys. We've been uh, for the while now, we've been talking about um, healthy deconstruction, yeah. uh, and uh, we're going to add in the next key element kind of to that theme, mm -hmm. uh, that we're going to be straying away from that theme per se, but uh, we are excited to bring to you, what, and Lindsay's going to be leading us into that today. All right. So, babe, what yes, are we, we going to talk about today? Yes, yes. So, um, as I was thinking about like what to bring into the series that we're doing right now, mm -hmm. Um, and what my part is, you know, so I kind of try to ask God, like, what is he doing? And yeah. in the scheme of all of that, also asking him, what is my role or what is my assignment for mm -hmm. this season? Yes. And so, and one of the things that really has been highlighted to me is the power of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And so we're not going to dive in all of the meaning and the nuances of the forgiveness, but we're just going to have an open conversation between yeah. Matt and I. And obviously we want to invite you guys into this conversation as well. You know, so as you're watching and listening, you know, we want you guys to make comments, um, give feedback and also like ask questions, you know, and yeah. also email us. Like if you have anything like, yes, I want to add something to that, you know, or, or want to thank you guys or whatever it is, you know, we want to invite you guys into this conversation. Yeah, for sure. And on that note, we just want to uh, reach out to you guys and say, Hey, if you're loving the content that we're putting out, if it's mm -hmm. been encouraging, if it's been empowering to you, uh, please uh, share it. Yes. Share it on your social media, share oh, yeah. it um, to a friend that you feel like could really benefit from the topic that we're sharing on mm -hmm. or our podcast. Yes. It really helps us get the message of love out that we're trying to propagate. No, yes. we're trying we're to uh, communicate. We're trying yes. to uh, connect people to the heart of the father, mm -hmm. uh, to their own selves and their own journey. So share us on your social media. We'd love that. Yes. We're on um, YouTube. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I love the video content version of this. Yeah. Also on our podcast um, version, if you're lis just uh, listening, listening, you can share that on your on your Facebook, Instagram, uh, wherever you'd like. But we just wanted to put that plug yes. out there and just say, hey, we love you guys. Uh, spread the love. Yes. Spread <laughs> the love. Spread the power. Spread the love. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, you know, like the topic of forgiveness, you know, like it's it's a little it's relevant in a sense like it's not like trendy you know it's almost like it's relevant because we all experience being wronged by someone yeah it's timeless it's it's timeless it's because like it's from related the end to people. of time yes <laughs> you know like almost everyone yeah. if not everyone has experienced some of like a betrayal like mm -hmm. pain and hurt by someone like you know and especially someone probably that's close to you you yeah. know it could be a coworker former coworker friend or family member you know, but we want to bring this out because hanging on to those negative feelings can also do great harm to your health. Yes. So um, I did a little research and I looked at Harvard's medical website. Mm -hmm. And this is one of their what one of their doctors said, you know, and and obviously Matt and I go into the aspect of the spiritual aspect of it, mm -hmm. but also like letting you guys know that this could also have, you know, forgiving can also have physical benefits, yes. mental, emotional, and physical health. Yeah. So this is what Dr. Tyler Vander Weil said. Uh, he's the co-director of the Initiative on Health, Religion, Spirituality at Harvard. Interesting. So yeah, isn't that great? Mm. So he says, forgiving a person who has wronged you is never easy. But dwelling on those events and reliving them over and over can fill yes. your mind with negative thoughts and suppressed anger. Yeah. You know, and he says, yet, when you learn to forgive, you are no longer trapped by the past actions of others mm -hmm. and you can finally feel free. Yes, so, so good. There's it, so much there. Man. So much. I mean, we could just oh, yeah. park on that for a little bit, you know, but we do want to like open this conversation with that, you know, like obviously this is mm -hmm. Dr. Tyler Vander Weil's um, definition, but, you know, we could also like, Ma, I, babe, I would love to ask you, you know, mm -hmm. what does forgiveness mean or look like to you you know personally for Matt Coyle you know what does it mean to you and what does it not include yeah 
Yeah, I think the first thing that I think about when I think about forgiveness mm -hmm. is <clears throat> that it's a journey. Yes. And it's an integral journey to each of our maturing processes in life. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it's, uh, you know, <clears throat> the, when we think about big picture of why we're here, um, you know, why did God create us? Yeah. Our purpose on this earth uh, ultimately comes down to relationship with him. And simply put, you know, God is love. I believe it's in mm -hmm. first John, it talks about this mm -hmm. and <clears throat> this reality that God is not cultivating people to have them to rule them, to yeah. boss them around, sure. uh, to be a picture in his gallery that he's mm -hmm. collecting. Like God is is interested in connection. Yes. And there's for him, for us to experience connection, we have to um, be developed in mm -hmm. love. So authentic, yeah. real connection happens when we are walking in and living in love. It's the yeah. greatest commandment that Jesus leaves us with mm -hmm. uh, in the New Testament is to love God and love others yeah. as we love ourselves. So I, I'm saying all that to bring into perspective mm -hmm. that forgiveness is, is a function yeah. of love. Oh, good. That's good. So mm -hmm. when we're being matured um, in Matthew 5, 48, it says, be perfect as God is perfect. Yeah. Uh, and that word perfect means mature mm. so our journey on this earth because that's the only thing that we're aware of yeah. you know we're not we know <laughs> bits and micro pieces of what maybe heaven or yeah. the next life will look like with god mm -hmm. uh, but our focus is on this earth we are here to mature mm -hmm. so we are to be developed we are to yeah. grow and if you want to see yourself as a plant Ooh. that is that is growing and that's developing so yeah. yeah you know if a, one of the functions of a plant, let's say sunlight is cut off from it mm -hmm. um, or water is not given to it or nutrients mm -hmm. uh, in soil is not given to it. If one of those functions are not given to it, it uh -huh. won't, it won't live for one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it definitely won't thrive. Yeah. And so I would say forgiveness is a function Good. of love that has yeah. to happen mm -hmm. and it happens consistently yeah uh, i absolutely. would say daily daily in some instances when there's some intense mm -hmm. things going on be it betrayal pain yeah. hurt it's a moment to moment thing mm -hmm. and ultimately it's a choice yeah yeah but god in his grace and in his patience and his kindness he gets gives us a lifetime mm -hmm. to work on that mm -hmm. yeah that's really good i love that so your question here what um, what is what does forgiveness, forgiveness mean? Yeah. yeah. So for me, it first means that it's a journey mm -hmm. that's necessary. Yeah. Uh, and God is patient mm -hmm. with our humanity, yes. which means I don't want to forgive that person. Right. What they did was wrong. It hurts. Right. It's painful. I, you know, I don't want to let them go. They mm -hmm. they either killed somebody. Um, they tried to kill me. They raped me. You know, I'm thinking about big pictures. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Where yeah. people have the right to be angry at mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Right. So let's say the attacker, whatever mm -hmm. it might be like, be it verbal to physical, emotional, et cetera. Yeah. You have the right to be angry at them. Right. But to stay in that state of anger mm -hmm. uh, and what will it turn into offense? So it's yep. a holding on to um, anger, basically. Yeah. So like if you're looking at forgiveness, the, the sure. stages of forgiveness yeah. um, entail if they you stay in that place, uh, bitterness yes. and uh resentment mm -hmm. uh, okay and so resentment refers to um holding on to mm. anger yeah yeah and the issue with uh, like feeling anger is okay mm -hmm. holding on to and staying in the state of anger is not helpful yeah and that's where mm -hmm. our body starts getting affected yes uh, I know I've experienced that in my own life, uh, mm -hmm. more related to emotional stuff, some some bitterness and, and sure. resentment, obviously, yeah. uh, but understanding that our emotions play an important part of letting us know where we're at in our mm -hmm. journey. Yeah. So if if unforgiveness is tied into sure. anger yeah. um, um, and turning into bitterness and resentment, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then that is that is an area that needs to be addressed. And yeah. it will take time. Yes, absolutely. Depending on the 
attack and the offense, mm -hmm. uh, it's okay that it takes time for you to move sure. through the journey yeah. of forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I love it. That's, I that's, so it. that's a scratch of the, the surface <laughs> there. Uh, yes. That's yes. more of like some of like what it like looks like. Like a four like. to five minute preaching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Totally. No, it's, it's really great. Like that's, um, cause, cause when I answer, when I think of what forgiveness means to me, mm. you know, I think about the art or learning to let go. Yes. Especially learning to let go of things that I don't have control over. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, like I could take ownership for the part that I played in a certain situation, you know, whether it was something that's done to me or I did to someone, you know, because let's face it, forgiveness isn't only just for the other person. It's for us as well. And I would say more importantly, it's for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. So <laughs> for me, the, the learning to let go mm -hmm. is huge in forgiveness like yes. the process of letting go the journey of letting go and again like you know I looked into the Harvard Health um, website and they highlighted the two sides of forgiveness which is actually like really interesting for me you know there's the two sides of forgiveness the decisional forgiveness yes. and the emotional forgiveness yes. I mean this is this is gold and brilliant because yeah. what they're saying is actually just really giving a supplement to the spiritual aspect of mm -hmm. forgiveness and how how we see forgiveness in the bible like you know jesus talking about forgiveness and him even talking about like it has been said before that love your neighbors and hate your enemies and yeah. it's like hey but if you're with me you come follow me this means love your neighbors and love your enemies right so this is like Awesome. You know, so decision of forgiveness, according to Harvard, involves a conscious choice mm. to replace ill will with goodwill. Yes. And again, this is what Dr. Vander Weil says. You no longer, this is the time when you no longer wish bad things to happen to that yeah. individual. Yeah. And this is often quicker and easier to accomplish. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Like sure, your yeah. mental, decisional, um, forgiveness and the other one that he highlighted like emotional forgiveness mm -hmm. Ooh, I think this is where we all have um have a little bit longer like what Matt said like a journey and a mm -hmm. longer process yeah. of the forgiveness you know in emotional forgiveness you move away from the negative feelings and no longer dwell on the wrongdoing yeah so what does this mean so again Dr. Vander Weel says emotional forgiveness is much harder and takes longer yes as it's common for those feelings, right, mm -hmm. to return on a regular basis. Right. This often happens when you think about the offender or something triggers the memory. You know, we're very familiar with that. Yes. Or you yes. still suffer from the adverse consequences mm -hmm. of the action. Yes. Not cool. So amazing. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And I, there's several things that are happening there as you're reading this. Um, you know, when I think about the word, forgive mm -hmm. uh it, it's it's kind of like this picture of paying forward yeah right yeah. so forgive right mm -hmm. uh the That's word good. give is in it right yes, and forgive. and I, I'm, I'm totally spacing on the translation of that offhand right. we have it in our kingdomized one program when i talk mm -hmm. about forgiveness but um the idea here behind it is you know we're we're commanded in scripture to love mm -hmm. and we love because god first loved us yeah yeah. And that's really difficult for our human brain, especially mm -hmm. in the early stages of development yeah. of being a Christ follower or mm -hmm. going through a painful betrayal experience. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to understand sure. why. Yeah. Because what they did was wrong. And it might even, even if they might, it might seem like they're getting away with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Right. So we have this picture of somebody that's, they're getting away with, they were mean to me. If it'd be a small thing, like an attitude. Uh, and they won't acknowledge it. And they yeah. just keep on acting that way. If, say you're in a relationship. Sure. Uh, I think it's most tricky in a marriage relationship. And there's mm -hmm. more techniques to that. Yeah. Uh, but but let's say, you know, because like, we've walked that multiple times mm -hmm. of being betrayed and experience it in the body of Christ. Yeah. Uh, and they get away with it. Right. Yes. The reality is nobody gets away with anything. No. Right. Not really. <laughs> and they're in their say if they're Christian in their relationship with mm -hmm. God, they will have to. Face, uh, yeah. face that face him. at some point mm -hmm. be it in the body or out of the body as it right. were right yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so the reality is is we have to say god i trust you with them to mm -hmm. do your will yeah yeah 
I, I trust you with that, that they do, you do your work mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so what we're doing here is to let go mm -hmm. is we're giving them yes. grace. Yes. Uh, we don't have to, we don't have to say like, oh, okay, what they did was okay. No, none of that happens. No, you no. can stand upon that's the ground. Like, Hey, that's not that. okay. And I'm going to stand mm -hmm. upon this truth. Like the way your attitude, your actions, mm -hmm. it wasn't okay. Yeah. And normally that's where it becomes difficult because sure. in for, with forgiveness, it doesn't mean you have to stay in relationship. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Now there's some advanced techniques of love that can help people move towards, um, having their eyes open to yeah. how they've behaved. Mm -hmm. That would be another topic. But for, for now, sure. we're just talking about the basics yeah. of understanding yes. that forgiveness is an ongoing thing. Mm -hmm. It's so important that we do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. It takes time. Yeah. Um, there are techniques, and I think you nailed sure. it with that, yeah. was there's the, the logical and there's the heart yes. side of forgiveness. Yes. And yeah. I think for most Christians, we so easily get caught up in, I forgave them up here. God said, forgive right. them. Okay. Right. I forgive you, mm -hmm. but you don't do the heart work yeah. and go on the heart journey. Right. And that's where the real intimacy, oh, yeah. and that's really where God is inviting us mm -hmm. into is intimacy with him at an yeah. emotional level, yeah. not just a cognitive level. Yeah. And the thing is, is interesting with that. Like, you know, when you're, you're doing like the, the easy part is like what Harvard said, you know, that the decisional forgiveness that mm -hmm. you've made a decision without the emotions yet, you know, following through that decision, um, you made a conscious decision to forgive them. Yeah. And then to do the heart work. And if, if you miss the heart work, the inner work that that's needed yeah. with that, that came with that conscious decision, it really will come back to you. Like it comes up, like whether if it's not now, mm -hmm. it will come back to you 20 years later and right. you're still bitter and you're still harboring mm -hmm. unforgiveness and resentment, you know, like, because it's been festering for a while. So 20 years later, you know, you may have been okay for 20 years or 15 yeah. years or every five years it comes up and it comes up uglier and it comes up bigger and it, and, and it pretty soon, like, really like when you are not conscious about it and you're not willing to do the hard work for it, then it takes over your life. Yeah. It takes over your mental health. It takes over your emotional health. And so that's why practicing forgiveness can also have powerful health benefits, mm -hmm. you know, um, observational studies and even some random trials. <laughs> I yeah. love this. I love that they do <laughs> observational studies on forgiveness and yeah. random trials, because yeah. I think it is so key for our mental, emotional and physical health to be able to be aware mm -hmm. what the benefits and then the de detriments of forgiveness. Yes. So. They suggest that forgiveness is associated, and this is true, like I've actually witnessed this, forgiveness is associated with lower levels of depression, mm -hmm. anxiety, and hostility. Yeah. And also, they found out that it's also reduced substance abuse, yes. and then high self-esteem and greater life satisfaction. Right. So and when someone forgives, these yes, are the byproducts. The byproducts, mm -hmm. the benefits, you know, and yet... I understand, we all understand that forgiving people is not always easy. Right. So the question now, like, you know, what are some of the tips, you know, because I mean, obviously, like, yes, we talked about the benefits of forgiveness, mm -hmm. like we talked about the, the journey and the learning, the letting go, you know, um, and closure is an important part. You know, one of the things that I actually have learned is to create closure with right. me and God, yes. you know, especially if, if the forgiveness has to happen without the involvement of mm -hmm. the other parties, you know, party parties, you know, other people and, and the letting go, the learning to letting go is at play here. Like yes. learning to let go of things that you don't have control, control over mm -hmm. and then embracing what you do have control over and walking it out with God and walking it out with friends, close friends, yeah. or walking it out with a counselor, a coach like yeah. ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. we've walked through so many of you, you know, so many people, our clients, our kingdomized one students, you know, all of the students in our programs, like we've seen so much breakthrough yeah. in areas of their lives because of Yes, like they went from I have a decision to forgive others and myself, and now I'm going to do the hard work, the yes. hard work, the hard work of hard work. It's real, it's <laughs> That's so real. Too. The it's hard so work real. of hard work, and now they 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 come and then they provide and they get closure yes. from what they can, so that you can continue to go through healing. Right. You know, and the other 
thing that I I love is the reframing. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the, the I'm gonna share a quote from um, Sarita Lyons, JD PhD. Um, I don't know her um, personally, of course, but I just was really um, how do you call that? Like touched, encouraged and encouraged, touched yeah. by by some of the other people out there who are also helping other people yeah. do the hard work of hard work. Yes. And um, she says this, you know, uh, uh, this is about reframing your experience, you mm-hmm. know, and reframing some of the ways that what happened to you or what, what you, what you did or what, whether it's what you did or what people did to you, mm-hmm. this is such a, a great reframing, you know, a great start. So you can actually do the work or the hard work for the hard work. Yes. She says Christians must be aware of and skilled at helping others navigate the barriers to trusting God. Mm-hmm. Because from racism to sexism, sexual abuse, or to the abuse of power, mm-hmm. some aren't really struggling with the facts of Christianity, rather the injuries from those who have misre- misrepresented the faith. Right. I think that that's just such a great reframe. Yes. You know, when you truly are now like, and some, we don't know all of that. Mm -hmm. And that's why Matt and I are here, Mm -hmm. you know, a lot, like with 23 years of experience working with people, leaders, churches, um, organizations, you know, we've seen probably 80% of things that have happened within the church and outside the church, you know? And so um, our heart and our passion to help people, you know, as far as not just with forgiveness, but it is a huge part of it because this is our topic today. Right. Is the, the closure, the reframing, and obviously the acknowledging, the acceptance, mm-hmm. all kinds of stuff. But just to really help people yeah. to recognize like, wow, this is more than just our faith in God, but also the people mm. that are around us who are not perfect. Right. And probably are also experiencing some sort of pain, <laughs> some sort of yes. trauma, you know, and we all work together. We live together. We work right. together. And, yeah. you know, so that's that's one of the things that I was really thankful for. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, ultimately, not just even the health benefits of forgiveness, um, there's the psychological benefit because, yeah. you know, if you're holding on to um, unforgiveness, okay, so yeah. let's look at it again. It's it's a form of anger, sure. right? That's yeah. expired. Mm-hmm. Like anger has a purpose. Yes. Uh, and so yes. if you get angry, there's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's to protect yourself, it's a valid reason. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But expired anger is like expired fish or milk or oh. eggs <laughs> what happens is it begins to taint everything that you do yeah everything that you touch so, from your relationships yeah. to your destiny yeah um and it, how does it do that well it taints the way that you see the world around you and how you interact mm. with the love yeah. that you have been given the generous gift of yes. love that christ has given to you Mm -hmm. uh it'll limit your confidence uh it'll taint the way that you love and lead people be it in your home friendships workplace ministry Mm -hmm. etc yeah Uh, and sometimes it's it's hidden and you need help to um recognize what's going on and you know one of the biggest things that we do with working with clients is they'll come to us and they'll describe Mm -hmm. this i'm stuck yes yes and there's many reasons for being stuck. And this is one of those reasons. If there's relationships that aren't, if you're wanting to get married uh, and you're not able to relationally wise, uh, Mm -hmm. if you are in a marriage relationship and it is chaotic, Mm -hmm. um, if you are in a a business or you're trying to start (laughs) a business or trying to have confidence to do all that's involved with um, Mm -hmm. starting a business and you keep running into roadblocks. Yeah. These are one of the hindrances, the blocks that hinder us from the destiny that God's called us to. Mm -hmm. And the way I look at this when it's related to your destiny is people are waiting for your love on the other side of your risk. Uh Absolutely. And it takes a lot of risk Mm -hmm. to let go. Yeah. It takes a lot of risk to go even more. It takes a lot of risk to go on the heart journey. Yeah. 
of seeing what's going on internally mm -hmm. and allow God's love to come into your life in that space. Yeah. Um, not to let people get away with it because that's what it feels mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Right. But to let them go. Yeah. And in and in doing so, when you go on that heart journey, mm -hmm. you allow God to come in and change those yeah. pain stories into love that's stories. Right. Oh, I and, love that. and the reality is, is mm -hmm. God's going to give you your pers his perspective mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. Um, because in that midst, it's not just you that's been mm -hmm. offended. So if, it, if it's, an, it's a very direct attack upon sure. you, it's very yeah. obvious. Okay. Uh, it, you're not the only one affected. God's also affected. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And when you open yourself up to that awareness um, of, you know, how God is experiencing this, this also, it also helps you have a mm -hmm. different perspective and how he's responding yeah. to the situation. Yeah. That's awesome. And obviously we could go on and on, yes. you know, there's, and we do in kingdomized in one. Kingdom <laughs> one, we do, yes. do that, yeah, yeah, do, yeah. do that, we but, do. um, we be able to do, do we, yes, we do. <laughs> um, but I want to leave you with this, you know, mm. this is like an excerpt from, uh, the real risk of forgiveness and why it's worth it. It's a Ted talk by Sarah Montana. Um, I highly recommend you guys watch it. Like, mm -hmm. gosh, like she is so funny, but also like very relatable. And she really does address, you know, like shares her story in the aspect of forgiveness. Yeah. You know? And so the question really now is why forgive? Yeah. You know, like, you know, like we've talked about, you know, the, the benefits of forgiving, yes. you know, and all that stuff. But there's why, why forgive? You know, and this is what she says. This is what Sarah says. Forgiveness is designed because, okay, because for forgiveness is designed to set you free. Yes. When I say I forgive you, what you're really saying is, I know what you did. Mm. It's not okay, but I recognize that you are more than that. I don't want to hold us captive to this thing anymore. I can heal myself and I don't need anything from you. You know, this is the part where I can heal mm. myself with God and I don't yes. need anything from you in order to heal. Our cultural thinks that vengeance is freedom, but it is a total prison. Any act of violence, whether it is emotional <laughs> or physical, is a weird, twisted form of intimacy. Mm. I love that she says this. When we choose vengeance, we're actually signing a blood oath to chain our story to our enemies for the rest of time. Wow. Ugh. Forgiveness is the only real path to freedom. Yeah. And this is what's important. I love that she says this. And I do this for our reframe and reclaim. It's never too late to let go of your villains and reclaim yourself. Yeah. And if you're ready to let it go, all go, the grief, the pain, the anger, the trauma, then you're open to finding out who you are instead of always trying to prove yourself. Wow. So we want to we want to leave you with that and obviously in Romans 8:28 um just like a Lindsay translation here <laughs> that that sometimes things don't go as planned. Yeah. But they work out better. Yes. So we just want to bless you with that whatever it is that you are experiencing at the moment where whether where, where, wherever you're at in your journey of forgiveness, you know, in your journey of freedom, mm -hmm. um, we would love to help, you know, like, obviously, yeah. like you have friends and family. And if you have people that you trust, you know, at least five people is actually like an average good size. But if you have one or two, you know, that's awesome. But also, like, if you're like one of not, I don't want to call it fast track. But if you're like, you know, it's like, if you if you're wanting to get he uh, healthy and fit physically and you want to start going to the gym, can you do go to the gym by yourself? Of course, you're smart, you know, like you know how, what to do. But if you really want to have a goal and you're like, yeah. yes, I don't want to be stuck anymore in this cycle. I don't want to go around in circles anymore. Um, you know, then you hire a personal trainer That's right. who can help you and coach you and be with you who is for you you know Matt and I I kind of see us as that you mm -hmm. know let us help you you know whether it's a one-on-one -on -one or through our kingdomized one program please feel free to reach out you know email us at info at coilcoaching.com we would love to help you yes yes and also <clears throat> if you're like hey I want to join a community and actually go through every area of my life and bring it into a thriving state, your identity, your destiny, so what you're called to, mm -hmm. and relationships. Um, we'll be starting up our yes. Kingdomized One program 
uh, starting in the fall here. And mm -hmm. if you want to get on the waiting list, reach out to us, email us, yes. and we'll get you onto the waiting list for that. It's phenomenal. You can mm -hmm. go through some of our social media and watch some of the testimonies of that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's one of the passions of our life right yes. now to yes, love definitely. people uh, and to walk with them in mm -hmm. their story and see them thrive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's been so fun watching uh, people mm -hmm. do uh, see their dreams come true. Yes. Relationally, um, um, monetarily, mm -hmm. uh, physically. Mm -hmm. um, wow. There's we, so, we, many we're crazy yeah. so many testimonies. So many testimonies. So, but anyways, yes. we would, we want to say, Hey, you're welcome at our table. Mm -hmm. uh, we love you guys. And we are here to be a support. Yeah. And, um, until next time, um, we will see you again yes. in our next podcast. All right. Love you guys. Have a phenomenal week. Bye-bye.